Hello everyone, welcome. So in this video, we're going to explain how the action editor works. So to be honest, uh, the action editor may be save a lot of time for you if you have some repetitive animation. And uh, let's uh, come and add a cylinder. And this cylinder, I will uh, move uh, this to be here, for example. And let's subdivide it around 12 times and the next thing uh, shift C to be adding um, these bones which is here so let's grab this one to be here and extrude Z another three times the next thing I will select this and select this one and control B to be with automatic width so if I select the armature and go to like this so it now work as we expect so what is the next thing I will make some layout here let's come to make this will be the 3d view and uh, maybe we have the timeline and we want it to be end at around 100 and uh, after that we will say here we have the here we have maybe the loop sheet and here we have the in a action non-linear non editor which may be found here all right so uh, we will come to frame number one and we are here so uh, we will select the armature and uh, go to the boost mode and select all and insert before that we must go to the dupe sheet and go to action editor a new and after that we will say it go left after that we will add fake user uh, to be sure that if the program has been exited uh, we will sure that this action will be saved so we will add fake user and after that I will select this and rotate let's uh, we are now in frame number one and select all and insert one keyframe so after that we will come to 11 and select this one and rotate select this one and rotate like this and after that I will add a location rotation then we will go to 26 and select this one and rotate select this one and rotate another time so what we have here we have this final final pose mode we will add an, uh, another one here and we can come back to 40 for example or 41 to be have the full action uh, action to be 40 frame and we will alt or alt g and insert k like this then we have this push down and stack uh, stash after we have made this one we can go to review like this we can review it to be here so after that we'll select all and stack or stash so we have this one we have uh, this if you go here you can see that we have this one but we can't uh, select it or we can move because it's now this, uh, it's now invisible it's hidden so we can now see that it uh, has been played like we we expect if you uh, hidden it if you hide it it will be not visible so let's come here and add another one which which will be go right and uh, you can be sure 
that if you uh, go here you will see that it's play but we want to add our our pose because so we will hide this one but you will see it isn't visible at all or you have the ability to uh, make this from here to be my sync so this button should hide this but because uh, if I will explain th uh, this later so uh, now we will uh, come back here and go to frame number one again we are now in frame number one I will select all and I will select all and uh, let's now insert an keyframe go to frame number 11 and uh, move it to be the right like this and I will insert an another keyframe go to 26 and let's move like this I will select all and insert another keyframe and go to 41 and alt or alt g and I will insert another keyframe so select all select all and stack so we have now these two which is here go left and go right this is the look if you unlock you can move and if you look you can't move but we will not use this we will look all and we will uh, right click to add right click to add another where is uh, add the, the track we have this one main track like this and we will select this track which is here we'll select this one and uh, shift a or add action strip we will go right and uh, let's move minus 40 so now we are in number one and another time go to and add action strip go left let's uh, go to 80 and add action strip go left so we have uh, another this and we have the main track let's now play our so let's see what we have here so now we have this go right go left and go left again so uh, this may be save a lot of, uh, save you a lot of time if you have some repetitive tasks and you want to uh, you will go to the action editor and use this uh, technique to save your actions and use uh, them make sure that you have uh, the main track and uh, this action stack we will use by adding from here if you want to add another attack you can add from here and uh, if you can go back to it, it you can go like this and move and uh, if you want to move your your action like this or you can add another pose i hope you enjoy this lesson see you in another tutorial